In 2013, you raced in Lublin, as I remember. How do you mention that meeting? Oh, for me, you know, that was the first time I had raced uh, in Lublin for many, many, many years. And um, uh, I remember the track being a little bit different and the whole appearance, but it, um, they definitely made some improvements to the track and, uh, and the whole facility. So uh, for me, it was nice to come back to, to a place I hadn't been to for so long. Okay, do you think that friendly matches are always the same or maybe you remember some meeting especially? Well, I mean, every friendly match has a, a different meaning behind it, you know, so the, some of them have a, a different place in your memory than others. But um, this one in particular, obviously, uh, you know, they bring names like Hans Nielsen to the, to the group. And for me, he was, a, he was a, you know, a massive superstar as I was growing up and a guy who I was honored to be able to race against when he was, you know, one of those Speedway heroes of the time. So uh, I do remember that event in particular. Hans Nielsen will be a manager of your team. Maybe you remember some situation. You have some memory with with Hans. Um, uh, for the, from this particular event, yeah, I do remember. You know, because you come in there and and suddenly this guy who was was one of your major you know, fellow competitors alongside of you, suddenly you were on the same team with them and I never rode on the same team with that guy. So listening to him talk was uh, um, quite inspirational because you don't, uh, although he's been out of the sport for many years, you can see that the, the racing instinct and the, and the racing uh, mentality still sits there as, uh, yeah, it sits in the spine. If you could uh, create your dream team, who will be racing for you? You know that that's a pretty difficult one to say because there's been a lot of great riders over the time that are um, that I've raced with that I haven't raced with, yeah. but um, definitely over the periods, you know, there there's some great names that um, from from the Americans of the Bruce Penhall and uh, then you got Danish riders like Eric Gunderson, yeah. who for me was a big hero, a big idol. Per Jonsson, another one. Um, and but at this moment. At if this moment, to create for... to create a team, you know, I mean, it's uh, for me, it's a guy like. Uh, uh, Chris Holder, who I, I enjoy racing with, Maciej Janowski, another great rider I like to ride with. Um, uh, of course, with, uh, sadly, with the late injury of, of Darcy Ward, but he's another guy great to have in the team. Um, uh, that's just a few names, you know. It's uh, uh, unfortunate that I get to ride with a lot of really good guys, so it's, it's hard. You don't want to leave anybody out because you, you know that there's, um, there's many guys that I could fit into a seven-man team. That would be a difficult decision to make. Do you think would you be a good manager? Um, probably not, you know, I, I'm, I'm more into the racing and, and working tight with the guys like that. But, uh, you know, management is, a, is another ball game. And I've learned a lot and I've worked with a lot of great managers over the years. And um, they, uh, you know, you, you have a racer and you have a manager and it's pretty hard to mix the two. If you could use three words to invite people to Lublin, which word would you use? Hey, it's the Polish Speedway battle, you know, so um, uh, the words I would use is uh, if you want to see a great event, if you want to see some of the, the um, uh, obviously you want to see the heroes of today going up against the great country of Poland who are so strong in the, in, in the Speedway world, this, this is the event to see because it's, um, it's pretty much the best of the best from both sides. Hi, this is Greg Hancock and I'd like to invite you to this Polish Speedway battle on October the 10th coming up very soon. Be there.